Hello friends, good evening. Today's topic is very interesting. Since many years, Odoo has introduced Indian accounting with GST report, TDS and TCS. But today, I would like to show you how we can use maximum out of it uh, for TDS and TCS calculations within Odoo framework. So Odoo already have a, a, you know, a feature uh, which gives us, you know, taxes configuration on cash basis because TDS or TCS, which requires to calculate at the time of payments, either I am collecting payment from customers, which requires to assess the TCS or at the time of paying to my vendor, it would require to deduct TDS. Okay. So now here we have to, you know, base tax received account you know we can see anyone but i have tax case basis journal so first i have to enable this case basis journal on it and once it is enabled then i can go to taxes and then i can go to active account tds and tcs both there so here i have enabled one account for tcs collected in advance you will find this tax eligibility after enabling that options and then i have connected here cash basis transition account because during the invoice preparation uh, i want to port uh, this amount into a temporary account because i don't want to realize my tcs at the time of creation of invoice but i want to realize that at the time of making a payment the same way i have a tds account uh, for which I have created based on payment and TDS temporary account. I have set it up. Okay, these two settings are must. Once it is done, then uh, you can uh, you know check your balance sheet where I have ported this inside a current asset like TDS you know and TCS temporary accounts over here. And then our regular TDS deducted and TCS collected are part of uh, our current liabilities. Okay, and also we can see uh, the TCS report in Indian accounting and TDS report respectively. Okay, now how things will work. First, you will go to accounting and you create a customer invoice where you create one customer invoice and selling some of the product. Maybe, uh, you yeah. know, let's say 100 units. Price of 50,000 each total, right? and then I will apply TCS of 1%. So, overall, this 50 lakh of amount with GST plus TCS of 1%, which will come at 52,500, and total money goes here. So, here in journal item, you can see. It is realizing the amount to TCS temporary account, not hitting my TCS collected. So this is the benefit we can get from tax basis by using cash basis over here. And now if you see your TCS report, it will not come here, nowhere. Okay. And if you go to your balance sheet also, and you will see the amount will port into a TCS temporary account. So this is one part of it. You will see like there is no TCS collected over here till now. Now, as soon as I, you register the payment from your customer and you create the payment, it will create a cash basis entry. And this is your cash basis entry where you can see TCS temporary account has been debited with TCS collected account over here. And now if you see your balance sheet, the amount will be now zero in tcs temporary account but it will be part of tcs collected account now so this is the benefit you can get by just using cash basis in Odoo. now the same way if i want to go to vendor bills and register any new vendor bill and uh, selling any items over here or sorry purchasing the items over here 
okay and here I would like to deduct the TDS that is 2000.1 percent of these goods okay and then I am registering my vendor bill so same way at the time of registering vendor bill the amount will go to TDS temporary account now if you see your ledgers there is nothing in TDS deducted okay but TDS temporary account will have an entry of 2000 from vendor to bill number 9 okay this is bill number 9 now inside your tax report if you go to TDS report there should be no entry it is an old entry of 100 not 2000 now as soon as I register the payment and it will create cash basis entry and this entry will reverse it now TDS temporary account will be debited and TDS deducted will be credited over here at the same way you can see your general ledger now you can see TDS deducted will be 2000 over here and when you go to TDS temporary account you will find this 2000 has been settled off so this is the way I think uh, it will be useful for everyone not to you know customize anything but carefully configure cash basis on your uh, TDS and TCS on in India at least for other countries it is withholding tax which I will uh, populate another video in future where we can arrange the same setting uh, to realize the withholding tax at the time of making payment uh, to the vendor hope uh, this will help uh, to many people now let me just refresh this report again tax report now you can see 2100 entry over here fine so this is your TDS report and this is your TCS report and this is your generic tax report okay which will also have the similar entry TDS and TCS okay hope uh, this video will be useful to many people uh, who are practicing Indian accounting and uh, adding you know TCS and TDS and now uh, you can set it up such a way so you can realize those uh, when making a payment or receiving the payment from customers thank you very much